Um, I don't want to sound like that guy, but uh, thank you guys for 50 subscribers. I never thought, like, me leaving for, like, five years and then coming back to YouTube would eventually land me with 50 subscribers. But I thank you guys all for being here. And I got 10 subscribers, actually, probably, like, 13 within the past three days. So, I'm going to keep up with content, and you guys know this. I'm going to give my straight opinions, and I want you guys to keep watching the videos, because I feel like I can make good, con good content for you guys. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just out of words. Out of touch. Um, but yeah, it's crazy that you guys uh, want to join me on this ride. It, it's surprising that anybody wants to join me on this ride, right? I mean, I've been constantly uploading for, like, the past, um, like, three months, and it's been interesting. It's been a fun ride. Most of it's been, uh, more than likely football videos and all of that, and, um, since this is face cam, it's gonna be a little bit shorter of a video than when I use my, uh, thing to actually record what's on my phone screen, but... I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart, and I hope you guys keep rocking with me. And I, I really mean it. On the way to 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 subscribers, 100 would be a goal. And if I don't get anywhere close to 200, I don't care. At least I got 100 of you guys that actually believe in me and actually believe in what I'm doing and what I'm trying to create on YouTube. I know... I'm just in YouTube for, like, to make you guys happy and post content. I know I realize that I'm jobless right now and I need to go out and do something about it. But you guys don't need to know about that. Um, see, I would be live streaming, like, video games and stuff. But since YouTube set a new thing where you can only live stream at uh, a 1,000 subscribers, I can't do it no more. I used to, I used to live stream a lot. Uh, back when I had a computer and back when I was actually doing stuff because I was a spoiled brat. But, uh, now the real world hits and as a teenager, you gotta look at it different. And now that we're going through, uh, this whole, uh, you know, thing with, uh, what's going on in the world right now, it just doesn't really, you know, uh, can't really find a job. Plus, I don't have a car. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be rough. It's going to be rough. But every people have it worse than me, so what am I talking about? I just try to be a wholesome guy. Like Nux Taku, who I watch a lot. I watch a lot of YouTubers. That's why my eyesight's bad. That's why I can't see my screen right now. I know there's a little... little. Okay, it hit three minutes. I can barely see that. But I flip these on, I can see everything. I wish I had my eyesight back. This is one thing I wish. You know what? Since it's 50 subscribers, why not dig in... A little bit into my, uh, you know, how I feel, right? Hopefully you guys watch that, and hopefully you guys watch this all the way through, which would actually mean a lot. And for you to comment and tell me what you want, because you tell me what you want, I'll be sure to provide it for you guys, or I'll try my best to do it. So anything that you guys want from me, I will do that. Um, so we'll see how that works. Um, and yeah, we'll go on with that. We'll make this about a five minute video. Why not? Why not? Um, like, to all the people that died from what's going on in the world, it hurts. And it could have been stopped a long time ago. It, it could have been stopped a long time ago. And there's always been this one person that was always somebody I looked up to, which was Kobe Bryant. Why not start off with Kobe? Hopefully this doesn't make you guys cry. But Kobe was a role model to me. Kobe was the guy that... Oh, I got into basketball. It was Kobe and LeBron who got me into basketball. I knew nothing about Michael Jordan. It was Kobe and LeBron who got me into basketball. And Kobe, unfortunately, he's gone. He, he shouldn't be gone. Like, if it was me, I'd rather me be in that helicopter crash than him. I'd rather, if I could go back and be in that helicopter and say, Hey, Kobe, don't get in the helicopter. Take it to a road trip. That's what I would do. Or I'd just switch places with him, dude. Because, like... People needed him, like his daughters and his family needed him, and more people needed him because of what he did and what he was able to provide. So, yeah. See, I would be crying right now, but the fact is, I can't cry. 
I've cried. I've lost too many people, and I've cried so many times that, like, you could hear it. You can hear me getting sad of my voice, but, like, I've lost so many people that it, I just can't cry no more. I might, my, my eyes might get red, but I don't shed tears. And that's not because, oh, because he's trying to put on a show. I'm not trying to put on a show. I'm just stating the facts that I don't really cry no more. And that's basically what it is. I mean, I've messed my life up. I will admit that. I'm having problems with my body. And I there's a lot of things that I don't know about. And this is why kids, if you watch this, take care of your body. Okay? That's all I gotta say. Take care of yourself. I don't want you guys to go around and be like me or look like me. I mean, I'm an ugly fucker. I mean, that's, that's what it boils down to. Um, but yeah, keep it the best and hope things will eventually find their way and make things happy for you guys and i wish you guys the best and i think this is getting towards the end of the video i'm not gonna be like hey go subscribe to me or not 50 of you already did it and that that i can't say much more than that thank you 50 of you guys for coming along on the ride and i hope it continues so thank you and i will be in the end of the video peace